What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is actually going to be one that you guys requested. You all want to know how I avoid under eye creasing. So I'm pretty much just going to be showing you all my tips, tricks, products that I use, methods, and just how I really do avoid under eye creasing. I mean, let's admit it, your girl is getting old. I'm about to be 27. Yes, 27 in a couple of weeks and um, I'm only aging. But in saying that, I do hope that I am aging somewhat gracefully. Um, but yeah, man, I'm getting older. The fine lines, they're coming out to play, but I'm not even mad about it. Like I've pretty much got a method and a routine down pat so that I don't have any under eye creasing when it comes to covering up the darkness underneath my eyes. Cause as some of you guys would know, I do have pretty dark circles but I'm able to conceal those and also prevent any creasing happening throughout the day. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all that good stuff. If you do enjoy it and you do find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Yes, first things first, we're gonna talk about water because water is a must and I know you're probably sick of people being like, in order to have good skin, you gotta drink lots of water. Yes, I'm gonna press that upon you guys because in 2018, we're all about staying hydrated. I do notice a lot of difference within my skin when I don't drink water versus when I do drink a lot of water throughout the day. And I'm the type of person that has to have water with me wherever I go. I cannot go to sleep unless I have a bottle of water on my bedside table next to me. Like I'm constant with the water. So I'm gonna press that upon you guys because water, it's a must, I'm telling you. So aside from keeping yourself hydrated with water, it's also important to keep your skin hydrated through what you apply onto your skin. So I'm gonna be talking about eye creams first of all. This is the one that I use personally, but it's important to find one that works for you. So if you're curious as to which one I use, this one is from Dermalogica. This is their multivitamin power firm. And I believe I've been using this for about two or more years. And this, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's expensive. It does cost a pretty penny, especially cause like, it only comes with what, 15 mils of product. But this, you guys, this is what works for me and I just, I can't go without it. So I do apply this onto my under eye area morning and night. This is a vital part of my skincare routine and I do notice a difference when I don't use it versus when I do. I personally feel like having an under eye cream as part of your skincare routine is so important because prevention is better than a cure. I mean, your girl is getting old over here. I'm almost 27, oh my God. I hate saying that out loud. But yeah, I gotta say, my skin isn't as good as it was before. I'm starting to get fine lines, you know how it is. Obviously, I'm getting older, I'm aging, and um, yeah, an eye cream is a must. So I would recommend get onto the eye creams, even if you don't have any like wrinkling or fine lines or whatever going on underneath your eyes, get onto the eye cream. So obviously I have already applied that eye cream to my skin as well as all my other skincare products. I do have my base on, as you can tell. All that's left to do is conceal these bad boys right here. Now my under eye circles, they're not light, but they're not dark. They're kind of like in the middle. I feel like they aren't too apparent right now, especially on camera because I've got like the lighting going on and whatnot. But if you were to see them in person, I feel like what other way to explain it? Like they're just, they're dark under eye circles. I'm sure if I did get a lot more sleep than I currently do, they would probably be a little better, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you how I counteract all this that's going on in my face. First things first, you already know, if you're a long time OG subby of mine, then you know that I love to color correct the darkness underneath my eyes. Now I use this one pretty much every single day on the days when I do wear makeup. This is from LA Girl, this is their Pro Conceal HD Concealer, but it is a peachy toned corrector. Now the peachy tones of this are really going to help counteract the darkness that is going on underneath the eye because all this darkness is made up of a lot of blue purple tones and the salmon peachy undertones of this kind of balances it out and neutralizes it. So in terms of color correctors, this is probably the most inexpensive one that you're going to find that is going to do the job. I'm pretty sure this is only like a couple of bucks for you guys over in the, in the US. For us here in Australia, it's a little more difficult to access, but in saying that, I'm pretty sure it's still really inexpensive. So it's definitely worth picking up if you're just looking for a decent quality, inexpensive color corrector. So as you can see, I just like to take a swipe or two underneath my eyes. 
and we're done. Just kidding. So now that I have the color corrector on there, I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend it out. Now these babies right here are my best friend when it comes to doing this whole process that I'm about to show you. So these are just some airbrush concealer brushes from Models Prefer. You don't have to use these exact ones, this exact brand. I would just recommend that you get a concealer brush that has these kind of bristles going on because it does really give you, as the name of this brush, suggests an airbrush effect. I can't talk properly. <laughs> so what I like to do is just go in with the brush and kind of just like dab at the area, press the color corrector into the skin and blend. But I'm not like swiping at it too much so that it kind of wipes the product away, if that makes sense. The good thing about this product as well is that it is pretty lightweight. So it isn't going to add too much extra product to the area that it will make it cake up. So yeah, that's it blended in. It's looking pretty crazy, but it really does help to counteract and balance out the darkness that is going on. Now onto the part that you guys have been waiting for, concealer. So this is my go-to concealer, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Now this little baby right here, is a tube of magic, let me tell you guys. As the name suggests, this is super long wearing. It is super full coverage and it is actually pretty lightweight. It is pretty heavy duty, but for me personally, I feel like it is a pretty lightweight concealer for what it is. So the only con that I would have to say about this concealer is that, I mean, it comes like this, like in a tube. And as you can see, it comes with a little pump. So you're going to have to pump the product out, whether you want to put it on the back of your hand or on a flat surface and dip your brush into it, it's entirely up to you. But the way that I use this product is, I will take, let's see if I can get this all on camera because this is a little difficult, but I'll take like a little bit. It's so hard to get the right amount out of this tube. That's my only problem with this product here. If MAC, would you ever re-release this with different packaging? Oh my goodness, I'd be on that so quick. But yeah, as you can see, there's the product right there. For those of you wondering, the shade that I use for my skin is NC20. So what I like to do is press that between my two middle fingers, kind of get an even coating on each. And this is what I use to apply the product to my eyes. So I'll start here. And basically, just as you would if you were applying concealer with a brush, I just put it in a formation underneath my eyes that represents a triangle, just because I like this whole area to be really like bright and lifted. And I'm applying the most product kind of just in this area right here. So I know that looks completely insane, but with whatever is left on my fingers, I just like to run it down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and also on my chin, and that is pretty much how I get rid of <laughs> the excess product. I mean, I also do like to highlight these areas of my face as well, but it just helps to get rid of any excess product that I may have left over. So now that I have all that concealer on my face, I'm going to go in with another one of those airbrush concealer brushes. This is of course a different one that is completely clean. And I will just start dabbing at that concealer to blend it in. I like to start with the areas that have the excess concealer just because I don't want to carry over product from the under eyes to these areas because I don't want too much concealer on these areas. I hope I'm making sense, you guys. And then I just will start blending at the edges of this concealer because I do want the edges to be nice and blended, but I want the most concentration of coverage to be right in this area here. So I'll start at the edges and then work my way inwards. As you guys can see, when I'm blending the product into my skin, I'm mostly using dabbing and stippling motions just so that I'm not moving the concealer around too much from where I have placed it. So now that all the concealer is blended in, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I am going to go ahead and set that area before it even has a chance to think about creasing up on me. So my powder of choice, my go-to powder, the one that is tried and true, my ride or die that has never failed me is this baby right here, the Australis Ready Set Go Pressed Powder. Now, if you live anywhere outside of Australia, I'm not sure if this is so easily accessible for you guys, and I apologize, but this is it. This is what works for me. Essentially, this is pretty much just a finely milled translucent setting powder. Like if I just take some on the back of my finger and show you guys, if you can find something similar, this is all it is. It's a 
translucent setting powder. So the brush that I use in combination with that powder is this one right here, the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. Let me tell you guys, this is my go-to brush for setting the under eyes. It's so beat up that it doesn't even have the name on it, but this is what I love. Just the shape of it and the bristles and everything about it just works for the under eye area. So I'm just gonna take some on my brush. It's pretty coated, as you can see, and I will just go in and just press it onto that area, really concentrating on the areas where I do have the fine lines underneath my eyes right here. So I'm just pressing it in and then slowly working the rest out to the other areas that I have applied the concealer to. When I apply it, I also kind of like to really press it in and then just wriggle my brush around so that it really gets into those fine lines and make sure that it dries up any chance of concealer that wants to crease because sometimes I do find that before I even get a chance to set my concealer it's already started like settling into my fine lines so I basically use the powder to kind of like soak everything up and dry it up and then I'll just take whatever is left in the brush and kind of like dab it over the other areas where I applied the concealer now I know I know this looks crazy it looks like I got these white patches going on underneath my eyes bear in mind though I did apply my bronzer and blush and all that, so I'll have to fix that um, in just a moment when I go finish off the rest of my makeup. But I'll show you how it looks once I come back. I'm going to finish off the rest of my face and I'll show you how everything balances it out. And um, yeah, give me a sec, I'll be back. So this is how it all looks once all the rest of my makeup is done. I also do find that since I do apply some bronzer underneath my lash line as well as mascara on my bottom lashes, I find that really helps to disguise the fine lines in that area if that makes sense but for the most part this is how it looks and this is how it pretty much stays for the majority of the day i do find if i'm like out with friends and i'm laughing and you know all that kind of stuff obviously it's only natural that you are going to crease up but like how can you be mad at that you know so that's pretty much it you guys i really do hope you found this video helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel scroll down below hit the little red button before you go so you don't miss any more videos that i post as always i will leave a list of everything that i used in this video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook or snapchat all that good stuff is down below and with that being said i hope you're all having a fabulous week i will talk to you all in the comments and i'll see you all in my next video